Salvete Omnes, this is I'm Emilia, also known as the Martian Geek, and welcome back to another episode of Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. In the last episode, we went into a temple and came out with all the bananas, and we were two silhouettes on a shade. And now it's time for this thing. 1K, Swinger Flinger. Yep, they're in this game too. The Kong temples, or Key temples, or Kindergarten temples, or whatever the heck the case stands for. They are here and we must deal with them, and they're just as awful as ever. I will say that I think the actual level design in these might be slightly more lenient than it is in Returns, screen for screen. But they're longer, and of course they still don't have checkpoints! Which is still great game design, yeah. And by great I mean freaking terrible! Anyway, we have the swing part right around here. I don't know why I said right around here, but... Yeah. I guess I'm not really sure where the flinger comes in, but... We have these interesting... ball platforms here, and this is the only place in the game you see them. They're not even in the other t uh, key temple stages, as far as I know. It's a shame, they're actually kind of neat, and... I don't know. Oh, be careful of your momentum. Because that can be a problem here, like... I've had plenty of times where I accidentally flung myself into the spikes, or couldn't react soon enough. Yeah, watch yourself. If you thought spikes were bad, how about spikes on vines? But of course we have plenty of the regular spikes too, like right here. Be careful. Make sure you know how the jump physics in this game work, and all that. And that would have been bad timing if I hadn't had Dixie. I find it. Whoa! Uh, speaking of having Dixie, holy crap. I guess that platform's not really as easy to get onto safely as it looks like it is. Go ahead and grab that that. So as you can guess, these sequential bananas lead to something. So we're gonna try our best to get all of them. Well, bananas and coins. Watch out for the falling clusters of spikes. And there's our puzzle piece. Four out of five. Going over here, we find that the ceiling is collapsing, so we want to hurry the heck up in this part. Don't stop for anything if you can help it. And... Okay, there we go. Wow, first try. I don't think I had that much practice at this one. <coughs> but anyway, we get a present, yay! Yeah, if I made that look easy, it's really not. I just had a lot of practice at it. I mean, I guess it's learnable, and it, it could certainly be a lot worse. But yeah. First key temple stage, done. We found a mysterious relic, and we can combine seven of them, seven of them to reveal the secrets beyond. Spoilers, the secrets beyond aren't that great, but we'll worry about that much, much later. Let's go ahead and take on the boss. One boss, big top bop. So, we have ourselves a buddy barrel. Just gonna stick with Dixie. Well, this place looks important. What kind of crazy... Ah! What's with the light? Yeah. Whoa. Whoa pow. You. Hurt, hurt, hurt. Come at me, broskies. Yeah, get him, Pumpy, get him. All right, you asked for it. Bring it. Alright, we have our boss, 
And we have some pretty good music for him, too. Just jump on him. That's it. This guy is the Bert the Bashful of Tropical Freeze, I suppose. Just use the most basic mechanic. Now that I think about it, though, I guess you have to jump on all the bosses for the most part. Or at least partially. He can throw fish at you, he can throw urchins after the first time, so don't get hit by the urchins, obviously. You can roll into the fish. So, is that one or two hits? I think it was two, so that would have been three, but... Anyway. Oh, he's getting a bit peeved. You can tell by the palette change. This is the palette change of doom. And he can roll along another axis, too. Well, I guess technically it's a... Well, you know what I mean. Oh. Dang it. I thought I'd be fancy by jumping all those on all those penguins in a row, but <laughs> I just ended up losing Dixie instead. I don't think you planned that jump out very well. You need to just stick that landing a bit, a bit better. I believe this guy's name is Pompey the Presumptuous. Yeah, he's a big Viking seal boy. And he's really mad now, and it's time for phase three of the fight. I will say, I, th I think the bosses in this game have a lot more variety to them than they did in Returns, as far as attacks and changes from one phase of the fight to, to the next and things like that. If you're less of a derp than me, you can get some banana coins by jumping on these big fish because they take three hits. Or they can just decide, screw this, I'm going back in the water too, that works. Seal Slam! You can jump on him during this, it's risky, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Alright. Penguin? 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 Seal! And... Alright, I think we can safely say the seal is broken. He doesn't look so good. 23 hits. So, world one clear. And the transitions between worlds in this game are really lame. It's just, there's an island, there's a barrel, and it shoots you to another island. So next time, we will be starting on World 2. I will see you then.